Hello everyone, welcome to Sally Tutorials. In today's video, we are going to create a modern 3D photo slideshow in Filmora 14. I'll show you how to add smooth motion, advanced effects and creative text, step by step, in a very easy way. So let's get started. To create this kind of 3D photo slideshow in Filmora. First import some photos from your computer into Filmora 14. Drag and drop the photos one by one onto the timeline in order. Then right-click on each photo, and choose Crop to Fit so that all of them match the aspect ratio. Next, go to the Effects tab and open it. Click on the 3D category. The first effect I drag and drop is called Parallel Photo Book. The second effect I use is 3D Slideshow Style 3. The third one is 3D Slideshow Style 2. And the last one is 3D Slideshow Style 1. Place all of these effects on the track above your photos. After that, enable the Ripple Edit option. Now adjust the duration of the photos and the effects. Just set them the way I did so the timing looks smooth. Go to the Transitions tab and open it. Search for the Blur Dissolve Transition. Drag and drop this transition between all the photos. Then set the duration of the transitions. I like to make them a little shorter. I also use this transition between the first two effects and adjust its duration. Now select everything on the timeline, right click and choose create compound clip. You can name it anything you like, and just click OK with the default settings. Next, let's add some 3D animated text to the slideshow. Before that, I want to apply a slow motion effect. So the photo animation pauses slightly while the text appears. To do this, split the slideshow like this. Then select clips number 2, 4, 6 and 8, while holding the control key on your keyboard. Go to the speed tool, and under slow speed, apply 0.5 times speed. Now go to the Titles tab and click on it. Open WordArt and scroll down to choose a nice artistic title for the slideshow. In the search bar at the top, type Artist Title 22 and find it quickly. Drag and drop this title onto the timeline. 
double click on it to edit. Change the font to just extra bold. Reduce the size to around 28. And then go to the animation section. For the in animation choose jump from below. For the out animation, choose rotate downwards. Then go to the video panel and adjust the Y position to move the text slightly downward. Once that is set, change the text itself. Go to the basic section in the text panel and replace the default text. I pasted my text using Ctrl V and position the text where it looks best. Adjust the duration of the text and place it on the timeline so it fits the slideshow animation. Use the same title for the next slideshow animations. To extend it, drag the edge of the title. If you need shorter pieces, just split it and reuse the parts. Double click on each one and edit the text as needed. For the last title, double click on it, go to the out animations, and apply a fade out effect. Now let's add a few overlay effects to make the slideshow look even better. Go to the effects tab, and search for modern urban slideshow overlay 04. Drag and drop it to the top track. and adjust the duration. Next, search for Modern Urban Slideshow Overlay 02, drag and drop it as well, and set its duration. The third one is Modern Urban Slideshow Overlay 03. Add it the same way and adjust the duration. For the ending animation, I duplicated the first overlay effect and set its duration too. Once all overlays are added, reduce their opacity. Double click on an effect and in the effects panel drag the opacity slider down. I set mine around 25%. Do the same for all overlays and keep them at 25%. For the last overlay, add two opacity keyframes. On the final keyframe, set the opacity to zero. This will create a fade-out animation. Do the same for the video itself. Add two opacity keyframes at the same points, and set the last one to zero. This way, at the end of the slideshow, everything fades out smoothly. And that's how you can create a modern 3D photo slideshow in Filmora 14, with smooth motion and advanced effects. Stay tuned for more tutorials.